let's jump into a product demo to see how AI table revolutionized CRM project management. Let's explore the unique features of AITable.ai. It is actually a spreadsheet database, but looks like a spreadsheet, like what you see here. And it also can be played as uh, just like Excel. As long as you know how to use Excel, you should know how to use AI table. You can just type, select the option, select the project phase here, the like planning, select the time. It's quite intuitive. But what is different with the data, uh, the Excel is, it is also indeed a database. You can just upload files. You can just drag it like this bunch of the files. You can put it on it. Right, it's quite simple. And also, because it is a database, you can uh, shift the data like what you want to read, help you to more easy to understand the data, like the group with the project manager. And you can easily see the people, uh, the member who has, uh, who have the, like how many projects they have. And also you can group in another way, like the category and also like the project phase. Okay, you can easily see the different phase of the project, like a three in planning and five in execution. And you can also shift the data, project data uh, into Kanban view. And then you can easily to check it, to shift it to different views, uh, to different project phase. And you can generate, monthly generate the Gantt view and easily to check the progress of the project. And then you can also expand the record to see the detail of the project. And then click on the uh, image to see what happened in more details. You can also one click to generate the gallery to see the project assets. And then easy to arrange the mode. It's quite smooth here. And also, uh, you can click, uh, you connect to the API, make all the data here connect with and your other systems in your business. It's quite easy and simple. And also, you can generate, use the widget to generate uh, like different kinds of uh, widget center here. You can use the chart, uh, pivot table. Okay, uh, for example, the chart here to make your more easy to understand the data and what happened. And for example, like the project manager, you can easily see who got how many projects and also in what kind of project phase. And then uh, we provide you a uh, different theme color, make you you can just change them. You can just choose them here. Okay, it's quite cool. The user interface is quite uh, comfortable. The data, you can also create a dashboard and then use the dashboard to uh, master all the, the project, how is it going and how the like the customer status, uh, how the members doing, uh, are they doing things well? Let's get back to the project. And do, just because of the uh, special database, it, it can easily be used to the C as a CRM. Okay, you can easily delete and you can easily like uh, just like you're using Excel, you can easily copy and paste here. Okay, and just the command Z or control Z to go back. And like here, it's a CRM, right? The customer data are here, the full name, work email, company name, and so on. And now I want to use this uh, data sheet. Uh, to generate a uh, form and let people, let the customer to just fill in the form, like for example, for your website, and then the data will easily come here. What can we do here? We can just add a view. Oh no, uh, sorry. We can just click here and create a form for this view and just one click. And then you can see the form. You can easily uh, modify it. Okay. Uh, here you can collapse the options. Now here is a form. Uh, and then, uh, you can, we can make this form to connect with the automation. That's what I have already done here. And I use this form to connect to the automation here, like you can see here. I set two automation, it's very easy to set it. Uh, one is one uh, when the uh, someone, they submit it, and then you will get a list notification to Slack, just like the trigger is the form is submitted, and then send a message to Slack. It's called when Slack the form inquiry form and then send to the message to Slack. And it's very easy to set here. Okay, use the markdown, just type and use the view of the data sheet. Another one is the greeting email I have already set here. And also the trigger is the form submitted and then send email. As you can see here, I have already uh, added the email here. When someone, they fill the form, uh, one notification to our team. Another notification, an auto greeting email will send to the customer. Uh, let's check it. 
like this one. Uh, we will see what happened. For example, uh, I share this link outside. As you can see, when people use this link to fill to collect the information, now I'm a customer. I feel the I get this link. I I feel the, the form. Company size. Okay. Uh, I want an AI CIM. Just submit. And then you can see uh, here has come a list just just for just for me uh, just from the customer here and then we we'll easily because I filled uh, this work email and so I have already get an email here uh, as you can hear right hi Gary I'm your AIT work consultant okay all these are automa automatically uh, now this is just for testing and also for on the slack as you can see here uh, it should be like the here you can see this is also the automation push to here if i click the url here it will shift back it will shift back to the this record expand the record close it that's it that's what i just filled here and then let's back to uh, so uh based on the one click creation form and the automation we can build up a very strong uh very powerful crm and one more thing we combine with AI. For example, here I have already gathered all the put all the FAQ uh, the customer usually ask here. Okay, now I will use this uh, FAQ as a corpus to fit to the AI. What I can do is just here to new AI, and then it will ask me to select about time and just select QA, and then I select data data sheet as a data set. So I select the AI which about QA, and then I fit all the data FAQ data to the chatbot and now it is training okay down just a few seconds now the uh, chatbot is can be used now and it will pop up for some uh, suggest, suggested question and then you can also just type what you want to type what is AI table and it will show you the answer based on the uh, data set you fit to it and also it will also give you some you can see here uh, suggested question and as we can see here, you can come to the setting to uh, make the chatbot more suitable for you. And also you can using the form collection information, it will connect to the form. You can just uh, select the inquiry form. This is what we built just now. Okay, here, as you can see, inquiry form, and then you click here. It will help to collect your data. Okay, uh, I have already built one. And as you can see from the Another one, I, uh, after you change this, you can publish it. And then when you publish it, embed, you can just copy this script tag to your UI HTML. If you use the WordPress, it's very easy to code snippy. You can just copy and paste here and save changes. After that, it will come to your website. Boom, it's here. You click the widget here. Okay. Yeah, here is the widget. Here is the chapel for your website. And now you can also talk, try to talk to it. What is AI table? It will also give you the answer. Here is your 24 7 AI customer service. And also, you can click the contents. It will help you to click the, collect the information, uh, the list. Let's try. Uh, here it. And then we will ask you the question for email and your phone number. For example, we are just testing. And this was five, six, seven, eight. Okay, okay, what can help? Uh, I, I want an AI CIM. And then ask me to provide a website. That's it. And after that, uh, it will also have already set the automation. And then this list will also come to the Slack to give a notification to the team. It's quite great. And also, uh, for the phone, we can have uh, uh, many way, many better way to use it for like this. You can just put the form on your website. This is what we did. As you can see here, the contact sales. When you click the contact sales, as you can see here, and you just the customer just fill in all the information here, and then the team will automatically get the notification. And you can also set the uh, uh, automatic greeting email to them. Okay. Post a demo. Let's review AI Table's features. 
Our spreadsheet database allows easy creation of intuitive, flexible systems for various business needs. Whether it's customer management or project management, it's incredibly simple and flexible. Say goodbye to a hustle of traditional hard-to-learn software. AI Table.ai's intelligent views and dashboards boost the data efficiency. Create Kanban gain the gallery views with a click. Customize your own dashboard to see the latest data analytics in real time, rather than waiting days for a report. Our form feature enables one-click creation for data and leads collection. The collected data instantly goes into our database, making collaboration easy. Embedded on your website, combined with AI, automation, and dashboards for around the cloud operation. The automation feature can streamline your workflow processes for repetitive tasks. Additionally, Airtable.ai integrates with Zapier, Make.com, and Active Pieces, allowing you to effortlessly connect with over 6,000 apps for no code workflow automation. And the AI agent feature allows you to build your 24 7 AI customer service, AI data analyst, and copilot with just one click based on your data. This might be the easiest to use AI chatbot builder you have ever encountered. No need to upload PDFs repeatedly. Just add this data in AI table for ongoing training and optimization of your own AI. Flexible member management and permission configuration in AI table supports efficient team collaboration, ideal for business with extensive internal and external collaboration. Last but not least, it's worth mentioning AI Table's API, offering over 100 standard open APIs for seamless integration with third-party systems. This enables seamless data flow and connecting everything.